What's going on? What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? So I want to do a video and I titled this four things that preventing you from being your best. One, four things that prevent you from being the best that you can be. But I'm going to start one at a time. In this video, I'm going to talk about fear. Fear, false evidence appearing real. That's what some people say. Fear could be false evidence appearing real. Um, a lot of things that I say, I read, I heard from other places, and I just want to share it with you. Somebody also said, I read in the books, that fear is the opposite of faith. Both of them begin with the letter F and both of them, fear and faith, are, require you to believe in something you don't see. Believe in something you don't see. So for an example, let's say you want to you want you want to uh lose weight, right? What does fear say? Fear say you don't have time. Fear says what if you don't lose no weight? What if what are people going to say about me? I'm going to be a failure. That's what fear does. What if faith says? Faith says you could do this. Faith says you got it. Faith says plan. Faith says you're going to lose this weight if you stay dedicated. But a lot of people, they choose the fear route instead of the faith route. So I say instead of fearing it, how about you faith it and you'll get a lot further, guys. Do not let fear win. Everything you want in life is on the other side of fear. I want you to grasp that. Everything you want in life is on the other side of fear. So let me tell you, let me ask you guys a question. And this is the, we're talking about fear here. If I put a board, a big wooden board on the ground, and I said, hey, if you go walk from that end of the board to that end of the board without touching the ground, I give you a thousand dollars. You know what you'll say? Oh man, that's that's easy. A thousand dollars, I got this. You walk across that board, no problems for a thousand dollars. Easy, right? But how about this? What if I took that same board and I put it in the sky in between two giant skyscrapers, right? In the sky. And I said, all right, you just did it on the ground. Walk from that end to the skyscraper, on that end of the board, to that end of the board, between the two skyscrapers for the same thousand dollars. You know what you're going to say? Oh, hell no. That, hell no. That's, that's, what if I fall and die? You know what entered? You know what entered? Fear entered. Because this is the thing. You did that same walk on the ground, one end to the next, with no problems. But... Fear entered. Now you're in the sky. Now you're afraid. Now you won't do it. Third scenario. Skyscraper. Board. On both ends. What if that building on the other side was burning and your child was on it? Will you go attempt to walk across that board now to go save your child? You say yes. But you know what? The fear is still there. The fear is still there. But you know what? The thought of losing your child in a fire supersedes, is greater than that fear you had of heights and walking across that board. So that's, so you understand that, guys, how fear works. So you know what that means? Your why has to be bigger than your fear. Your why, saving your child, is bigger than your fear. Fear is always going to be there. You just have to have a why bigger than your fear so your fear doesn't matter. So guys, I'm going to do another video tomorrow, but I just wanted to talk to you today about fear. Do not let fear win because I said before, everything you want in life is on the other side of fear. Have a good day. Be blessed. Peace.